Hi folks, I've got a, a few sofa ferns on the desk tonight, keeping me company. Um, I've got it in my mind uh, that I was going to take all of these out um, and without waffling on about lumen outputs and specifications and so forth and just simply show you all the, the, the beam shots one after the other. Um, I've kind of recovered my senses um, and I don't have a wheelbarrow so I don't think it's on the cards to take all of these out. So what I'm going to have to do and this is really difficult because they're all really good lights and I do like them all, but I'm going to have to cherry pick. So, uh, what are we going to go for? Um, we're going to go for the SC21. Um, the 31 Pro, the IF25. We've got to have the 222s, the two newest ones in there, haven't we? Uh, what else have we got? The... 36 Pro, the Q8 Pro, Ooh, can I manage a few more, what about that one, the SF47, yeah, yeah, let's take that one with us as well, and can I squeeze in the 70 as well? Is that a bit ridiculous? Shall we try that? Yeah, I think so. How many have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay, let's take these nine out and we'll have a look what they look like after dark. Okay, folks, I'm out now with the sofas, hopefully properly organised. Half the trick is going to be remembering how they all work. Um, I'll put a picture where I am and I'll keep on adding uh, ran at random points the picture of where I am. I'm starting off with the SC21 on its high mode. Just get a bit closer now, turn him off and scroll through. Our power mode's low, medium and high. High's pretty good isn't it for such a tiny little torch. And then turbo. I'm not moving the torch, just Scrolling the camera around a touch. Now let's bring in SC31 Pro. There we go. 21. 31. This is the 31 and its max ramp. So let me move the 21 out of the way. Ramp up, non turbo. 21. 21 on turbo. You can see we've just taken a big, big leap up there now, haven't we? So we'll put the little 21 away, and keep with our 31 Pro, and then turbo mode. Not getting down into the distance there. Um, it's not designed to, but it's not doing bad. Take them off turbo. Variable high. Pretty good, isn't it? Let me pause a second. So we're back with our 31. Now we let me put the 25, I have 25A alongside, this is the 25A now, on turbo, just gone up another significant level haven't we, decent amount to throw on it but again we're not getting down into that distance, let me put the 31 it's max variable, not turbo. 25 on our left, not turbo. 21. A little bit more of a concentrated beam on the 21, isn't there? But a lot less throw. Turbo. 25A, 31, 
We're running bloody close here, aren't they? Let me pause and move along. We've got the IF 25A now on it, so let me just check. And it's highest non turbo variable. And let's put the 22A now alongside. Let me make sure I'm on high. So we've got the 22A there on high, 25 on highest variable, non turbo on either. Now we're really getting into the different stakes now, aren't we? Between the the two particular models. The 22 is really getting down that path. And there's your turbo. Two really nice torches if I might add these two. You know, a nice balanced floody type beam. Nice concentrated beam. Let me put that one down and I'll grab the standard 22. I have to show you these two together really, don't I? Got the 22A on the right, 22 standard on the left. Scroll through our modes and both. Get it right, he said. There we go. Turbo on the 22A, turbo on the 22. <coughs> Excuse me, slight difference in the beam profile. These two are pretty close, really. I've done a, a review of them. I think it's largely a matter of preference over those. But we are very, very throwy, aren't we? Let me move up to the big boys. <coughs> Now I've got the SP36 Pro, non-turbo. Bit of an unusual beam profile that is, isn't it? And then turbo, my god. I mean, we're just in a completely different league now, aren't we? Highest mode, turbo. I mean, just look at that. really difficult for the camera to cope when a light's just blasting so much out like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's have a look. We have to put the two alongside each other, don't we? Now's our Q8 Pro. And it's highest non-turbo. SP36 highest non turbo Q8 Pro much tidier beam isn't it on that one uh, those satin rings artifacts or whatever you want to call it turbo SP36 Pro turbo on the Q8 oh my god I mean that's just immense absolutely immense let me get my next ones out next up folks is the 47T oh let me turn off the Q8 as you can see there a bit like the uh, the IF the IF 22s but we're going for a bit more of a pencil view now aren't we let me compare it to the Q8, highest non-turbo on the Q8, the SF, highest non-turbo. You can see now, the, you know, the, they're just chalk and cheese, aren't they? Again, I suppose similar to the, the 25A and the, the 22, even, although the, distant, uh, the difference is, is much more pronounced. And there's the turbo on the Q8. And, let me get it right, turbo. And our 47. 47 is an out and out thrower Q8. Um, let's see if I can zoom in. So you can see there now, I mean, I've really zoomed into the distance there. Put our Q8 on. 
SF is easily exceeding it. Let's get our next contender up. And here we have our <laughs> the monster of them all, uh, the SP70. Um, I'll just turn my 47 on alongside just so you can see. The 47's so got like that kind of pencil light beam. Whereas the 70 still got a throwy type beam. I'm running out of hands here. Let me get our Q8 and go for the battle of the big boys. Uh, you know, the Q8's all about this massive flood, isn't it? Let me get it right. That's the 70. We're going halfway house there, aren't we? We've still got plenty of spill, not as much as the Q8. It's still throwy, but not as much as the SF. We've got a middle ground there. Let me cycle through our modes. Let me get it right. There we go. And then our turbo mode. Absolutely astounding in my humble opinion. Let's go to a different spot and try them all again. A little bit further on now folks and let me show you uh, where I am. Well, I've got this camera lined up. <coughs> uh, with the 21, I'm going to do them in the same order, if I can remember what order I did them in, I think I can. Um, the 21, kind of closest there, but we have a little bit of a open space and a lake that I can move down and when you get to this type of open area it completely shines a different light excuse the pun on the torches that you're using so let's bump our twi um, 21 up to turbo and as we can see at this close range with plenty of stuff to to bounce off it's doing really really well as I move down the side of this lake that's where these smaller torches do tend to let us down a touch. Let's put our 31 alongside turbo on the 21 max non-turbo on the 31. Let me open up that distance a little bit more around there massively pissing the between between those and we put the 31 probe back to its highest normal and move down the side of this lake it's not doing bad is it quite a, a balanced throwy little beam from 18650 and let me cheat and grab my 25 while well, we're at it sorry about that twenty five A non turbo the same again on the side of this lake not doing bad. This kind of tree here, uh, probably about a hundred meters. Let me put the so my highest non-turbo turbo on the 25A. A little bit of mist coming in. Isn't it? Is that a bit better? Bit of mess coming in there, ruining it for us. That's doing it pretty well, isn't it? And now let's try our 31 on turbo. 31. 25. I think the 31's just a little bit more 
concentrated. Make up your minds on that one, but we're definitely a leap up and power on this particular one. Let me pause. We're back with our 25A highest non-turbo and the 22A alongside highest non-turbo. As we move again down the side when you get to these kind of open areas this is where the throwy type beam of the 22A I'll get the 22 up in a moment the 22A really really does even our 25 on turbo still isn't coming near the 22A is it and again you know we can do a turbo on the 22A go let me grab the standard 22 if my camera will focus 22a 22 both on high not turbo what we notice there completely different beam profile isn't there and I didn't point it out where in that location we were before but it's probably even more obvious now is that you are getting more I suppose traditional spill is that the right word on the on the 22 as opposed to the 22a uh, distance wise um, I wouldn't really like to choose between either of those there is an obvious difference between them isn't it let's let's go to uh, turbo really wouldn't like to pick. Let's move up to the big boys. Next up, highest non-turbo, the 36 Pro. Those kind of satin rings obvious again aren't they? Let me swap hands. Turbo, wow. <laughs> and move down the side of this lake highest highest non-turbo doing that really really easily isn't it for a um, supposed flooder and we're easily getting out to uh, probably about 150 meters there those bunch of trees and then turbo let me grab the Q8 <coughs> highest non-turbo turbo wow non-turbo same thing down the side of this lake 36 on the left Q8 Pro on the right turbo on both more blast of light isn't there on the, on the, on the Q8 and you don't have those artifact rings, satin rings whatever you want to call them but the 36 um, if you don't mind those rings that seems to be me to be pinching it on the um, on the distance let me get my next set of lights there's our 47 folks and that pencil like beam again it's probably worth noting here this light is operating on much much lower power 
than a lot of the others that we've looked at and it's getting away with it by concentrating um, that beam and then turbo and wherever we point this you know, again down the side of that lake we've got that narrow beam it's, well it's going to go further than I can see right up into that corner way over there I can't even see that far um, but this is an out and out thrower more obvious in a place like this than where we were before let me put my 70 alongside and again even more obvious now isn't it is the 70 on turbo oh no it wasn't there we go so I was over 70 on turbo the 47 that, that pencil beam on a fraction of the power is is throwing a lot further but you know what that that 70 my god I mean that is just Hopefully you can see it, it's ludicrous, right into the corner of that lake. The 70s, um, 47's still got the, the pip on the absolute distance. I just can't see far enough from, from, from where I am. Let me turn off the 70 and try not to drop it. Go through a mode. Sorry, not, not the 70, the 40. So, um, Put our 70 a bit closer again. Scroll through. Highest non turbo. A little bit more open area like this. I think this is where the 70 really starts to come into its own, doesn't it? And then turbo. So there we go folks, that is my cherry picked sow ferns, I'd like to say favourite but they all are. And hopefully when I get home this video footage looks okay, I'd be very annoyed if it doesn't. Catch you soon folks, bye bye.